As an elite level play by play, I would expect you to keep your eye on all the matchups going on, but you know, that's just me expecting the best out of you, my guy. I appreciate that. Here you go. Our first bucket comes from Lynn Kidd, the senior from Gainesville, Florida. So but the way college basketball is now, year to year, as opposed later. to building. <laughs> right, 30 years later, it's a different game as MJ Collins steps up and knocks down the three ball. And so like Syracuse, who's playing really with only seven or eight guys to end the regular season, and if you've got a couple of guys who say, I want to go into the transfer portal, how on earth can you play a game a day later? And already two guys from Syracuse as Lynn Kidd gets the bucket in the paint. This is the 109th meeting between these two schools, but the first time in 15 years in an official game. Lynn Kidd with a nice left-handed bucket. Thank you for me. Think about, you were actually in school before I was born. Oh! That is how you shoot 66% from the floor. But since they have made four out of six, this man's been right in the middle of it all. Lynn Kidd drawing a crowd in the paint. Goes over the right shoulder free throw line as well, and it just has been from hard work, not surprisingly. Speaking of hard work, MJ Collins has put in the hard work. Padula gets it back from Elijah Poteet. He was looking for a foul and gives it back to Poteet. That's a pretty good teamwork right there. Number three giving it back to number 34. Great pass. There's that combo. Couture sets up Padula for two, and we are tied at 20. Out of the Hokies here in front of the Castle Guard on their home floor. Poteet comes free. Collins finds him. And the throwdown ties it at 26. Couture. And flying in for the putback. MJ Collins. Timeout. Chris Mooney and the Spiders. Here in Blacksburg, Virginia. First round action of the NIT. The Hokies hosting the Spiders. And there is the combination that has been so lethal for the Hokies the last couple of years. Padula with his fifth assist tonight, setting up Hunter Couture. And if it's not Hunter Couture, it's MJ Collins. Both these guys, elite level perimeter defenders. And Mike Young understands how to take out the top of the scouting report as Lynn Kidd continues his perfection off a beautiful dime from Hunter Couture. Thank you for correcting me, sir. I hate to do that. No, no you really don't. And Sean Padula knocks down his first three of the evening. Hey, and co-champions of the regular season. John Padula gets right to the basket and lays it in. Love the decisive play by Padula, getting downhill. More importantly, recognizing that he does have an opportunity to finish without the shot blocker being able to get over and affect his shot. All game. Well, if you watch Jordan King and the way he's being defended by Hunter Couture, you can see why he's not able to get going as Tyler Nickel finishes. Through the traffic off a beautiful find from Young. Yeah, Tyler Nickel was a pretty good scorer back in the day at East Rockingham High in Harrisonburg. Padula able to beat the shot clock and roll it over the rim. He's into double figures. And, of course, with the coaches, the players, everyone involved. And if the collective decision is we don't want to be there, you're only doing yourself disjustice by showing up as well as the NIT. If you're not going to respect it, don't be a part of it. Take the walk-on route or even go on Division Two or Division Three. And this young man, Sean Padula, has his own story. He signed with Mike Young without having ever met Mike Young because of the pandemic. Barron off the bounce, no. Poteet off the bench with the offensive rebound. Collins left all alone. As they always say, the best time to shoot an open three is off the uh, offensive rebound. They are five for their last seven. Collins make it six out of their last eight. Collins up to 15 and has Tex lead to nine. Add to that, Hunter Couture gets into the act. And the Hokies starting to put some distance between themselves and the spike. No question about it. Well, you know what? We've got a solid matchup in that department here tonight. Another assist for Padula. Kid with another throwdown. Game. And once again, back to the pressure. It's really more of a token pressure. But as you see, Padula dribble right through it and toss it up to Lynn Kidd for the dunk. Jaden Young, the freshman from Goldsboro, North Carolina, with his first two points.